and that heat means that food resources are going to be scarce. And the some of the tallest giraffes in the world because they come from areas around Mount Kilimanjaro. We'll get a picture of her. That's okay. So they would come out to meet people and talk to them about his.
Louie. You yeah. give them a treat when they do something good and they continue to do that behavior, right? Positive reinforcement training. That's what we do with our rhinos here. These table yards, we always want to have that barrier because these animals are between four to five thousand pounds. Size of an SUV. Uh, so with that, if say we needed to get some blood samples to make sure that our rhinos are healthy or see if any of our females are pregnant or in estrus. So we get to see that baby. <laughs> no pit stops, man. I'm going ahead in the woods. I'll, I'll drive. Well, I am actually trying to drive. So I Take a look at those 
Stay cool. Oh, it's 
these aren't the only black and white animals. If you actually look over the hillside, over the fence line, we've got our grubby zebra, the largest zebra species in Africa. Oh, my son. Now, once again, black and white can stand out, right? Well, good thing I'm fingered to try and focus on. So I have to pick my pointer finger. And then I wave my hands in front of my face really fast. It's going to be really hard for me to focus on that pointer finger. Well, if the zebras all start moving together, it's the same thing. It's going to be hard for a predator to determine where one zebra ends and the next one begins. It's called fusion camouflage. They're able to blend together rather than blend into their habitat. He's got this Gemsbok is really, he's like posing for, or she, excuse me, she is posing for us. I'm so glad we get this great view. So the zebras that are up here, these are all teenage boys. They have one adult male and they're like teenage. Proper zebras because they really like the horse around. <laughs> oh, I've got so many. So many. I just have to use them sparingly or else And with that, if we get a new animal, because we want to keep with genetic diversity, they're going to get the sound.
subscribe, watch Nyla grow for more videos. Bye-bye.